Hey everybody, happy Valentine's Day and happy Ash Wednesday, clearly. Uh, I'm here with Gabriel. Say hi! <laughs> he is almost a year old and it's been so long since I've done an update for you guys, so I wanted to do a really quick update right now. Um, so, he is going to be one in just a couple weeks. It's absolutely crazy how fast everything's flown by. Can you say hi? Hi. He does have a couple of words, um, but he kind of chooses when he says them. His the main thing he says is mama, 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 and da 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 da. Yeah, can you say mama? Mama. Hi. Hi. And he loves selfies. As you can see, I still cloth diaper. I'm in the middle of doing cloth diaper laundry, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't done an update in forever. And I mentioned I would do a cloth diapering update, so we are still cloth diapering. We learned some things along the way, <laughs> and um, yeah. But in regards to him, <laughs> we are still breastfeeding. Um, but I actually, I never lost the baby weight, and I want to make sure that I'm healthy because we are going back to the fertility clinic when he's two. So we have one year left to lose the baby weight, or at least be a healthy weight. Um, we're super, super lucky to live in Massachusetts where um, IVF and fertility treatments are generally covered by your health insurance. You just have to pay usually like your deductible and your um, co-pays and whatever. So for us, depending on what year it was, because we the testing was very expensive for us, but the actual IVF process, I think, our deductible, we paid out of pocket somewhere around $4,000, I believe, because that was my deductible and my husband's. I don't know how it worked. But anyways, that was the gist. And um, so the point is, it is mostly covered for the, like, that's obviously cheap compared to like $20,000. Um, but in order to qualify, you have to be a normal BMI um, and have proof of a normal BMI. If you don't, you can still get it covered, but you have to like see a nutritionist and all this stuff. So that's my goal is I'm like, hey, I just want to be like a normal BMI. I'm not like super overweight, but I never lost the baby weight. I literally lost like 10 pounds, which was basically like just like <laughs> fluid and my baby because <laughs> he was almost, you know, eight and a half pounds. So, so I'm in the process of losing some weight. I joined Weight Watchers for the first time in my life, and they give you a bunch of extra points if you're breastfeeding. And even still, my like supply has dropped off quite a bit, so I used to be a milk donor for Mother's Milk Bank Northeast, which was awesome, but now I'm no longer a milk donor because I just have enough to feed my baby, which is fine with me. I, so whenever I pump now, I only get like an hour. Um, and that's enough that if I'm like separated from him for whatever reason, because I'm working um, part-time, then he has enough. So I have enough to sustain my baby, which is awesome. And occasionally we'll use formula because I did get a, some formula samples for free and we never use them. And so there've been a handful of times where we're not sure how much more he's gonna take in a bottle or something. And I'm like, just give him formula because I don't want to waste my breast milk. Like I don't want to pour four ounces of breast milk in if he's only gonna take another ounce. So a couple of times he's had it, but not the end of the world to me, whatever. And, um. Hey, yeah, I know, do you want to be in the video too? Uh, hi, oh hi, you're waving hi. Yay! So, um, sorry, I just got a text. I'm trying to get rid of it. Ah, get out of here. It's not working. Okay, never mind. Anyways, I'm just like live shooting this and sending it on to YouTube because I don't have time to edit videos and all that jazz. So, so the point is, we're going back to the fertility clinic when he's two, so we have one year left to get to what we're, we're working on right now. We are still breastfeeding. It's still going great. Um, he has a couple words. He is super, super tall. Like, his, his growth kind of, like, leveled off for a little bit, but he's still super tall. He is in the 105th percentile for his height. Oh, hi! Oh, hi! You want to be in the video? Yeah, I know you do. I got my Cupid pants on. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> so, he wants to be in the video with you guys. Yes. Hi. He's very close to walking. He crawls like a trooper. He's, um, he is cruising. And he's trying to, my cell phone is plugged in right now. Hey, no, we don't eat wires, my love, love. Hey. Boop. What's this? <gasps> 
trying to distract him so I can finish this video. He's in the 105th percentile for his length or height or however you want to say it. Um, I think he's about 31 inches tall, so he's really tall for his age. He's in like 18 to 24 month clothing right now, although it varies by the, the brand and everything. And he used to have little tiny legs and the legs grew. So his torso kind of stopped growing. He was in 18 month onesies for forever. And then he finally just, um, his legs kept caught up with him. So now he is in, um, generally speaking, 18 month clothing all around. Some brands he's in the 18 to 24 month. So I know you want to be part of the video here. I'm going to set this down for a sec guys. I'm sorry. Ah! Okay. He wants to be in the video. <gasps> Hi. Or not. He doesn't want to be in the video. I don't know. This is my real life right now. <laughs> so, um, so we're in the process of planning his first birthday. Hopefully I'll get a little bit of footage to be able to put online about that. Um, yeah. Hi. I know. You're playing with my phone cord. <laughs> um, what else can I say? He is about 22 pounds, so he's 50th percentile for weight. He used to be in, like, the 68th percentile for weight, so he's definitely like dropped off a little bit, but the pediatrician was not concerned at all because he's like, look, he's literally just stretched out because he's super long, but he's like a totally normal weight, so don't worry about it. So we're not worrying about it. Um, he eats like a champ. There are some days that he's more interested in solid foods than others. Um, last night he ate like five meatballs, like big meatballs that my mother-in-law brought for dinner, which was super sweet. Um, are anything that goes that's the theme we're doing for his birthday anything that goes um, so like as you can see my crazy living room right now um, he also really likes elephants but so um so any like cars planes trains automobiles the whole nine yards he loves all those things so that's his favorite right now um, what else can I update you guys on sorry I'm saying um so much but this is again this is just a one-shot video <laughs> Uh, let's see. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Can you say uh, hi? Say hi. Come here. Come here, Munchkin. Here, you want to show him how you walk? Let's see if we can get him to walk. Hey, look at this. Look at this. <gasps> look it. Do it. Go, go, go. Yay, buddy. There he goes! And yes, he doesn't have pants right now because he has Valentine's Day pants and they got a little messy from lunch. So they're currently in the wash so that he can wear them to go out to eat tonight because we're going out as a family for Valentine's Day. So other than that, um, I would just love everybody out there um, to think good thoughts and say your prayers if you're a prayer sayer. My mother unfortunately is sick. She has young onset Alzheimer's and she's in the nursing home and she um, she's only 62 and she was just put on hospice the other week so we're dealing with that and luckily Gabe is a really wonderful distraction and we've been able to visit a lot because she's um, only like 10 minutes away but it's still hard that we're going through all of this and that's another reason why videos have not been coming up because we are barely we are barely keeping up with like everyday life let alone being able to have time to like sit down and edit and everything so i apologize for that guys sorry this is so like long and ranty and everything sorry i keep closing texts that come up because people are saying happy valentine's day <laughs> um but anyways if you guys have any other questions for me or want to know more let me know i'm going to do another quick video if i can get gabe away from the shoe rack hey you over there Hey, you over there, I see you with the shoes. He loves things that he's not supposed to have. Anyways, if I can get him away from the shoe rack, I will do a cloth diaper update for you guys. Officially, with like the brands we wound up using, the style we wound up using, and all of that good stuff. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much, guys, for staying as long as you have through all of our journey. And that's it for now, guys. And if you like, subscribe. Bye!